What's going on guys? Today is kind of like a, a print day for me and um, I, I wanted to pop on and just do like a real quick impromptu video uh, because so I, I have a dark room set up to, to print like a, a non-wet dark room, a wet non-wet dark room. Um, but I want to show you guys what I mean. Uh, for anybody who wants to maybe, you know, print your photos and, and you have a setup but you don't have running water, um, I think I might have a solution. So um, check it out. What I have going on is a, it's a three bucket setup. So this top bucket is basically distilled water and I get this pump sprayer, I think it's like 15 bucks or something from Lowe's. Um, let me turn the fan off, you can probably hear me better. Gotta have ventilation, right? Gotta breathe. But anyway, so this pump sprayer was like 15 bucks. You could fill it with uh, distilled water. So in this way you can mix your chemicals and everything up here. Uh, the overflow will dump into a, uh, a waste bucket, which is empty. And then next to that I have a, a rinse bucket, which is full of water. So I'll take you through real quick, just, you know, what my process is. And um, so I'll print something, and then from there it, it goes into the developer, stop, fix, and then like kind of a pre-wash, um, I'll, you know, swish it around, and then from there I'll take it and I'll dump it in the rinse bucket. And once it's in the rinse bucket, I'll, I'll accumulate a couple prints, maybe four or five prints after a, a few minutes. And then I'll, I'll take the whole bucket and I'll, I'll walk it downstairs to the bathroom where there's, there's water and, and running water. And then I can actually, you know, wash the prints um, properly. And then from, from there, once the prints are washed, I can bring them up. And then um, I've got one of these Costco flip tables. Um, you know, set them up on cookie racks and, and just let them dry. Like I said, I, I just... I want to kind of pop on and uh, give this as an option for people who, who want to have a dark room and you have an enlarger and you have your gear, but you don't have running water. So uh, this is kind of how I went around it and uh, maybe it'll be helpful. So hope you guys are well and until uh, the next video, we'll see you.